Yeah, I think you guys just need to get really close to each other. You guys are just really wide. It's because we're using that 30. You gotta leave this in the video. People need, to, people need to know that like when they meet us in real life, we're bigger in real this life. This is actually a 16 Don't you get that? Don't you get that? <laughs> <Did you get, laughs> what, are we cheating? Yeah. <laughs> this is fake lens? <laughs> we're, we're using not natty lenses now. No. <laughs> not natty lenses. Uh, but guys, 1985 was a doozy, all right? There was just so much going on and we got super jacked. However, reality set in. And you don't remember any of it. And I don't remember any of it. It was a, it was a blur. <laughs> it was such a blur. But what I do remember is that I need to get my chest looking more aesthetically juicy. And the, the man right over here knows what is the chest all about, baby? Look, look at that thing. I'm trying. I have really bad chest genetics, and I've been able to improve my chest uh, d against all odds. I have a lot of odds. Okay. And I trained them for years and years. All the supplements, all the eating, all the other stuff was the same. When I changed the way I trained my chest, it started responding. Well, all I know is that when I got my uh, little genie bottle and I rubbed it to make a wish on who could help me with my chest, Juji had popped up. So Juji is here, and he's gonna grant my wish of taking me through a chest workout uh, and kind of debunk probably what I've been doing for a while, give me some pointers, some tips, and we put other videos out on the channel about my chest, and it's something that I really need to grow, especially in the, now and in the off season, to get that physique that I have in, in my mind. You just um, wanna be succulent. I wanna, be, I wanna get a succulent pump, baby. I wanna look like a freak, a super freak. Super freaky. <laughs> <laughs> we have the workout on this big ass whiteboard, and we have typical chest workout and modern chest workout. Yes, so let's take a break it down. Bro. Okay, so I wrote a typical chest workout for what most people do, including what I would have probably done, you know, back in my mid twenties, uh, late twenties, to grow chest. Everyone starts with a bench press. It looks kind of just like what I've been doing. Does it really? Yeah. Is it really a lot like what you've been doing? Yeah. Dude. Bench, then the accessory, then flies, and yeah. then more flies, the and then push-ups and different push-up variations. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, this is this okay. is good. If this is taking notes. <laughs> so all you guys out there who uh, really want to make your chest bigger, throw the bench press in the trash. All right. If you're doing five by five or three by ten, it doesn't matter. Get rid of it. Your incline press after bench press to hit the upper chest. That's garbage. Three sets of eight to ten is what you're probably doing. Just throw it in the trash. Your dumbbell chest fly. The dumbbell chest fly is an exercise that should not exist anymore. Okay, so we, we came out of the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. Now listen for a second. The, you, hey, 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 guys. No, look at me. Look I'm at just, me. No, I'm just, I'm just watching you. My whole, my whole world has just been shaken up in front of me. It's draining. Like this, oh, and pissed. now it's gone. Oh, so I'm, I'm just trying to allow myself to take in this new information. I'm about to blow everyone's mind, all right? Now this is a thought experiment, and it goes for any body part, okay? You take a bodybuilder from the 80s or the golden era, and you look at one of their workouts, right? You got a lot of like barbell presses, rows, or whatever, and that's what they did to grow, right? Now they were the elite, so pretty much everyone else that was doing those exercises didn't get as good a result as the average guy today that's doing a more modern chest workout. But here's the thing, you take one of those uh, classic bodybuilders, do you think they'd be doing the same exercises today if they had access to new equipment and new exercises that we have now. Good point. They would not be doing those workouts still. They'd be like, holy hell, these machines and all this stuff is way better because it helps you grow better. So they wouldn't be doing this. So you stop doing old stuff like that, all right? Um, so the dumbbell chest fly is a garbage exercise. Just get rid of it. Cable flies are good, but by the time most people do cable flies in a workout, they're distracted anyway because they've spent their entire hour doing bench pressing and sitting on their phone in between sets. They don't time the rest periods. Hmm. Modern then, problems. Modern problems. And finally, you know, push-ups are good. I like them, but you know, just do whatever. We'll do some push-ups at the end or maybe some dips. You know, I don't know. You know. Yeah. So the, you get some shoulders, some tricep in there, sure, all this stuff. You're building some full body, whatever, but your chest is not going to grow. So a question I have for, uh, for Juju here is, uh, do you think it's possible to get the desired chest that I want without machines or any other things we have today? Uh, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, um, kind of, okay. I'm gonna show you some things. We're gonna take some of the stuff you do have access to, like dumbbells, great. Mm -hmm. All right. Barbell bench press, not gonna help you, uh, but if you do dumbbells, you can do different variations that are awesome. Okay. We're gonna do some of that today as well as the uh, cable fly. Most people have access to a cable fly or rings. You can even use some rings with some bands attached mm -hmm. to create that kind of like 
experience. So we're gonna take some stuff you do have access to and some stuff that's probably in your gym that you're not using. Gotcha. And we're gonna make the best use of it to grow a chest. Anthony, do a backflip. Good enough. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Every time the camera's Anton, he has to do some sort of trick. That's just mandatory on my channel now. So, modern chest workout. All right. What are we doing today? We're going to warm up our chest and shoulders to start, and then we'll go from there. So, let's do that now. All right. All right. This is the band. You can order these anywhere in the world. <laughs> Not on any website almost at this point. But this is an over under stretch, so you can do this. All right. So, this is warming up your shoulders and your chest right here. So, a big part of growing a chest is actually stimulating the chest with a large stretch component and with a lot of tension in the stretch position. Okay. So we're going to be doing this in the workout as well. So it's not oh. just a warm up. We're actually going to do this as a superset. It sounds strange later, but you'll see. A big part of chest training is the mind muscle connection of actually getting the chest to hit while having your shoulders, your tricep and all this other stuff jump in. And most of the people that are doing poor chest workouts, uh, a lot of times they'll actually kind of ruin their shoulders doing them. I would say typically when I would do flies, I'd feel a lot of my shoulders and not so much of my chest. Yeah, well, maybe we should change the way you do flies too. I'm gonna to learn a lot in this video, I'm okay. excited. You can film this. These oh, are, great. yeah, these are dynamic arm swings, but there's a lot of different directions you can do them, but it's one of the best things for your arms, shoulders and stuff. But we're just gonna do the ones that really just kind of like warm this up. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna hit the lat, which isn't bad if you do it, you know? Just a little lat arm swing, but but really just like right here, see that? Yeah. Ooh. The dynamic stretch that's just kind of re reached with an abrupt end at the end like that is, is something that you don't get doing a lot of other things. So it's a nice Feel novel it. stimulus. Okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> as strange as it say, guys, as strange <laughs> as it sounds, you're gonna see me touching myself a lot in, my, in this workout, but, but that's a big part to. of chest training. Yeah. You, have to get, you have to get your feedback, so it's like, actually keeping your hand on the muscle as you're kind of like moving your arm around and stuff and even just stretching it is kind of like warming up what you're supposed to feel yeah and you're trying to get a certain feel when you're doing the movements so, so you two are normalizing touching yourself in the gym yeah i mean it, cool. touching yourself isn't a crime no it's, it, it raises it's not a sin. school but what they <laughs> it's not it's yeah touch yourself you can't touch other people you gotta ask permission for that first but. yeah if you're gonna do some dynamic arm swings just make sure that you don't like, at first, you know, just really just like, almost like you're not trying hard enough and it'll, you'll open up and you'll want to go further. So only like start to increase the range of motion and the speed when you want to, and you will, you will if you just give it a couple minutes. Welcome to the uh, upper body, welcome to the upper body area of my gym. So this is a lever press. What I mean by lever is like, it's one of those things where you add the plates and then it's kind of like, it's tracked. Um, the one you're probably going to find in your gym, which is a great one, is the hammer strength one that's flat. And some of them are inclined and you load the plates on the side. It's in almost every gym and it's an awesome machine. Um, throw the plate underneath it so that you don't have like a huge stretch to get into it. You can add some bands to it. But when you're doing this, basically you're going to put your hands anywhere on this thing, wherever that you're going to feel the chest the most. So you're trying to almost emulate like the fly position. See what I'm saying? And take this, this, and the pressing out of it because it's chest, right? So you're almost like trying to figure out a way to like get the chest to do almost all the work. But let me show you what grip I use, okay? And this is a, this is an incline one right now. We're gonna vary it up a little bit later in the workout, but so I'm actually, instead of grabbing neutral grip or here or here, I found my favorite position is actually right here with my hands at this angle, my fingers out. You know what I mean? I know it looks weird, and then I wedge myself into it to get really support, get grounded. And then when I push, I'm just pushing away where I'm almost feeling nothing but the chest. So you're really trying to like feel the chest, okay? Gotcha. Come down, last step. Come down, last step. Really, it's good to have it in the mirror. You can see yourself really squeeze the chest. So what you're trying to do is get the feeling of that, mm -hmm. that chest kicking in over yeah, yeah. everything else, okay? Gotcha. So after a couple warm-up sets, you figure out a weight that you can do like, you know, 10 to like 16 reps to failure, and then you're gonna time your rest sets. So right. this is gonna be your first working set because Joey has done two warm-up sets. Joey needs some more weight, he's pretty strong. Put more weight on? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. 
Joey, he wants failure. Oh gosh. Failure. Chest sure. grows one inch to one workout. Gonna... Clickbait. <laughs> now you can title it. You clicked it. it. <laughs> you clicked it. You're ready to grow your chest. I feel that way more on my chest. Yeah, right? There. There. There, right there. Too bad we can't. So you change his hand position, he feels it more in his chest. Yes. Really like. Well, let me not get in the way. Keep going. Come on. There you go. Nice. Come on. Nice. Come on, Joe. Come on. Keep going. Yep. Really squeeze that chest. Really get it. Get it top. Get a huge push at the bottom. Oh, there you solid. go. All right. Now we're gonna time his rest set. Okay. So a lot of people don't time the rest sets. That is a huge mistake. So for upper body isolation work, I found that for straight sets, straight set meaning you do an exercise, you rest. You do an exercise, you rest. That's not like supersets and all this like crazy stuff. Three minutes to three minutes and 30 seconds okay, wow. is what I like the most. And, and for you guys watching, I probably take two minutes. So this is gonna feel a little bit longer for me. It's gonna take longer. It takes yeah. more time, but it gives you more strength okay. on your second and third set. Otherwise think, you're probably just fatiguing so fast. You're right? fatiguing so fast. You really wanna like challenge yourself and get yeah. a good quality set. So you don't want the second set to be complete gotcha. garbage. You know what I mean? Yep. And by the end of the workout, you know, it's, You'll, 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 you'll get a pump, don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll still work. You don't have to, like, huff and puff and no rest to get a pump. You want to be strong, too. My turn. Good so, job. Come on. All right. Uh, you, you want this filmed? You want him puffing and puffing? I want him huffing and puffing. Oh. He's a big, bad wolf. He's <laughs> blowing down my house. <laughs> the brick house? <laughs> I hope it's the brick house. <laughs> All right, <I'm> screwed. <laughs> Here we go, come on. That's it. Come on. What is he watching on TV back there? Probably, uh... Nip slips. Nip slips and feet games. <laughs> come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Go. Nice. All right, that's 13 reps. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna rest. Do another one, two or three sets. We'll do three. We go from there. If you do good quality sets like that, and you're resting the right amount of time in between them, you don't have to do like five or six sets. You know, it's like five sets, five sets, five sets. A lot of them are just junk sets. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you do it right, you can get the job done in two or three. Find another exercise to really stimulate a different way. Gotcha. Yeah, this would be epic. Oh. Guys, guys, we got a nice little oh. change in you. Oh. Joey, do as many reps as last time. Come on. Stare to yourself. Come on, Joey. There we go. Touch yourself. Go, go in the mirror and go look at yourself and touch yourself. Touching? Go touch it. It's all right there. <laughs> I'm not feeling my shoulders, which is good. Yeah. I, I like, like way more the chest. I like to do shoulders completely separate okay. from chest. There's still going to get some stimulation here, you know, but I almost look at chest day as a feeder workout okay. for my shoulder to recover yeah, yeah, later. Yeah. All right, so it's my turn. You know what? I was watching a podcast with Massonomics and they had uh, uh, Mike Kearney on there and he was talking about the eggplant emoji and he was like, why do they even have that emoji? 
it's not like you're at a grocery store and you're like, hey, I need eggplant emoji, you know what I mean? Yeah. What? They should have known what was gonna happen to the eggplant. For real. It's not eggplant. It was, it was planned. It was eggplant. One. 32. <laughs> 33. <laughs> Damn, that's a good set, man. Pose. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. You see them jump up there? Uh, they moved. Good contraction on that. They moved. It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> All right, so the next exercise is a hex press. It's called a hex press because you usually use hexagonal dumbbells to do it, but all we have is circular. So, circular dumbbells. Yeah, so you're going to pick... Uh, I don't know, not nearly as much as you normally press. Okay. And I've, I prefer to wear wrist wraps and, and elbow sleeves and even a belt with this to take all the pressure off everything but the chest. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So go ahead and grab them. And then lay down and get into a press position. You've probably done this exercise. And it's going to get a little bit more out of it for you. All right. Now press it, press it almost together. Yeah. And keep them together the whole time. And flare your elbows out. There. Now push them up. And really, like, as you push them up, like push them into each other and feel the chest at the very top. See that? Yeah. Yeah, like even more. There you go. And you can you can experiment with the flare of the elbows. Do not keep them in. And experiment with where the dumbbells are lowering. So go ahead and push up and lower it a little closer to your face now. So you can kind of play. Really your goal is to find the perfect spot so that your chest is just getting smashed. Keep going. Hold them together. All right, one more rep. We're gonna do two sets of this. There you go. Now, this is an awesome exercise. Now you're gonna superset that with over-unders. So that warm-up exercise we did, go ahead and do it right now. Like really. Oh God. Yeah. See, so the hex press doesn't have a, <laughs> doesn't have a huge stretch component. So we're just Whoa. gonna yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw ten of them, ten of them back and forth. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I think we see some muscle fiber. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Really stretch them out. Really stretch it out. This is going to get even more stretch marks up here. Yeah. That's okay. It's marks of growth. Yeah. Wow. This is some crazy science we're doing. On the hex press, when I brought it closer to my face, yeah. harder, but more in my chest. Good. So you definitely got to play around with it, like what he was saying, either lower or higher. But for mm -hmm. me, Higher was, man, wow, Yeah, right there. You know, I still put the incline. I would not do like that much incline, but I'm talking about like 10 degree, like put a plate under the bench or put a plate under the top of the bench. So it's like just a slight incline or decline so you can play even more. So find like just little adjustments to incline, little adjustments in how close it is to your face, little adjustments in how far you flare your elbows out. Just find the perfect spot and just squeeze. Yeah. That's my turn. Oh, this is one of the parts I missed about the having, you know, a gym. Is this part where you got the dumbbells, you're just like, you know what I'm talking about? It's like every guy knows what I'm talking about right now. We're just like, you got the head fucking dumbbells in your hands. You're just like, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Ready to go, like doing this most muscular thing in the mirror. Okay, it's so much fun. Okay. Let's go. Come on. sometimes I don't know if it helps anything but when I'm coming back here I'm gonna come back forward almost think about like flexing the chest here see that yeah Wait. yeah watch see here. so I'm back here I come back to the front see that yeah it's just like that gotcha go ahead and flex it and pack it in okay. so this is it without it 
Pec dance. Looks really relaxed. And when I come back around this time, I'm gonna do the pec dance on it. See the difference? Yeah. It's almost like you're really trying to bring out all the striations yeah, yeah, yeah. on the way down. So that's kind of like making that mind muscle connection. Yeah. In this movement, it is an opportunity so that when you step on stage later, you're like, boom, make yeah, the chest yeah. pop out. Yeah. You do it. So if I come around. See that? Squeezing. Yeah. Opening. That's a good way. Opening. Squeeze. Squeezing. Come on. Here you go. There you go. Get it. That's something different. I've never done anything like these before. That is a that is a doozy. Simple but effective way to annihilate. Yeah, I feel like my chest is already like getting crazy growth from just these couple exercises. When you stand around, you just kind of like feel like it doesn't take much to like do the pec dance thing. Yeah, no, they're, they're just feeling pretty full right mm -hmm. now. Is this what we'll be seeing at the lion's den? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Joey touching his chest a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> converted to a bodybuilder. We did our warm up. We did our lever press, three sets, dumbo hex press with the banded over unders. Uh, super set, we still got our three to three minute, 30 second rest periods. Next we're gonna do two sets of cable fly or pec deck. So that's, you know, you can do it on a cable stack or on a machine, or whatever it's gonna feel best for your shoulders. Whatever you can get the job done in like 12 to 20 okay, sets, yeah. And at this point, this might be where you wanna focus on like, you want to focus on the under, yeah. so you can adjust the cable stack to different heights. Okay. So we can kind of like lower where the pulleys are anchored, and kind of like see if you can get yeah. this to kind that's of feel. That's definitely where I need to like improve and get get bigger there. Yeah. So, so let's try that out, and then we're going to finish with a with a decline press, and this is just arbitrary. The reason we did incline first, the incline lever press, the decline last, is just you know I don't know. There's there's some style to this. Yeah, yeah. You know, this isn't like an exact. But you notice all the exercises are really centered around this motion. Everything, like even the lever press is kind of like circular. Hex press is kind of pushing in. Fly is kind of, it's all about getting the chest. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's not so much this. So he's doing a cable fly. We have the anchor set low for his, like here. Let's really see to, how low they are. I mean, they're as low as we can get them. That's not very much weight, but you know, you can always do like a warm up set just to kind of get a feel for it and figure out your setting. There's a lot of ways you can do uh, cable stacks. A lot of bodybuilders do them different ways. A lot of people, a lot of them are like, this is the wrong way, this is the right way, and they're like jacking up your form and telling you to do this or that, or you know, cross your hands here or whatever. It's just really, it's about, do you feel the yeah. chest? Does it feel like you're hitting what you want? Good, it's working, you know? Yeah. Sometimes if they tell you something like, hey, try this little thing and it feels better, it's working better, then do it. But a lot of times, it's like a pro tip, when when at when uh, bodybuilders or trainers are working with you and they're having you adjust a million things, the reason why it starts to seem like it's working in the middle of a set while they're adjusting you is because you're getting tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like after 25 reps of trying to get it right, you're like, oh my god, it works so well, man. You're right. I'll do it that way from now on. No, he just sit there dicking around with you the whole time. You got freaking tired. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. of course it worked. You went way further than you would have gone by yourself trying to just do a set of 10 or 12. You know. And you can kind of get a stretch if you can. It's gonna be a little harder since it's lower, but really starting the movement out with it kind of like chest only. Gotcha. Chest only. Chest only. It's like a fans only page. Chest only. Going chest only. Yeah, chest. A good chest workout is like a fans only page. Chest only. Keep going. Keep going. Go ahead and start cheating some reps. On a cable stack, to really get the most out of it, you gotta start cheating the crap out of it. Yeah, there we go. There we go, boss. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right there, no way. Come on. Yep. There we go. One more. Okay, good. Yeah, a little bit of cheating there actually helps, which I know yeah. viewers probably don't wanna hear, but. It gives you a little bit of momentum to really get the squeeze going at the top. Well, when you did it with strict form the whole time, all these muscles are not like your back, especially, and stuff's yeah. not helping out. When that chest is done, 
but you still get a little bit more yeah. out of it. You're just kind of like getting a little, it's like, overreaching like being pushed on the swing sets. Like, yeah. ah, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. Come on, just a little bit more. We're all helping you out now. You, know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got a little bit of reinforcement. My back's supporting my chest. Uh -huh. It's helping me grow. Yeah. Well, what did you say? You were just staring at your pecs for a second? I was saying like how, how I've been doing everything right for so long. <laughs> 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 and like really Juju is asking me tips for how I got such a succulent chest. But uh, no, uh, being a straw man in strength sport, we do a lot of benching, and for you guys that follow me, uh, you know that my benching variations come in my overhead press. So it's gonna be largely uh, upper chest, tricep dominant, and shoulders, where all this stuff we're doing, I'm not really feeling my shoulders much. Um, yes, I'm feeling upper pec, but it's like the entire pec. Oh, the where, entire yeah, like this, the pump pec. is all right here right now, and a lot better my muscle connection. Uh, You're really so. like a weather lady. It's all right here. It's all right here. Right here. Right here. Uh, so it's just interesting. You know, I always like to learn and, and trying to better educate myself when I have certain goals. And obviously, if we're looking for aesthetics, we're going to train differently than we would if we're trying to get strong. Little uh, spoiler, we did an NFL Combine the other day. Uh, this one, I don't know whose video is coming out, whatever, but Juji pressed 225 42 times. Do you bench press? Barely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's crazy. So doesn't mean that you can do this stuff and you're going to get weaker either. No. You know what no, I mean? Your bench so, press will go up. Yeah. If you've been doing nothing but bench pressing sometimes, because what you need is a break. You really hit the muscles that aren't getting hit on the bench. It's usually chest yeah, for yeah, most people. Yeah. All right. Amazing stuff. Oh, Sam, you want to film me when I'm out of breath again? What's your favorite emoji? Um, I like the ghost emoji. What do people usually use it for, though? Respond to me. Really? <laughs> they, they just did. They, they responded just, with a ghost. Uh, they just, it's well, time they, to touch your chest. They ghosted me. You know? They ghosted you? Yeah. Today, man. You got to get everything you can out of this. Keep going. Feel good. A little faster. 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 There you go. Okay, good. Woo! Man. I think I'm glistening. Glistening? <laughs> I, I can, well, a first hand witness. Sparkling like a princess. Oh, fuck. Boom! I'm trying. Damn. All right, last exercise. Stuff. <laughs> One more. One more. One more of cho total chest obliteration. This is good. What's good is that my shoulders feel fine. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, like he's saying we're definitely taking out other muscles that we don't necessarily need, putting more work into the chest. Mm -hmm. It's definitely noticeably different for me. And honestly, like bench press will hit your shoulders. And a lot of guys can build a big shoulders from bench press, but it's often not very healthy for your shoulders. I mean, how many people have shoulder problems from bench pressing? Yeah. Quite a lot of people. Okay, we're gonna do like a decline press variation right now. And this is just another lever press. So if your gym has multiple lever presses, you can use a combination of them. And if you don't have, so this is decline, decline can be a hard variation. Uh, a Smith press is great, like a Smith machine. Mm -hmm. Just decline a bench slightly yeah. and really like get that on those barbell. But if you just kind of like pump it instead of like, lock out, it's a wrap, down, lock out, it's a wrap. But if you're just kind of like, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, uh -huh. just really focus on this right here. You know, you'll get the bodybuilding response that you got from it. So we're gonna grab it here. Yeah, can I have this? That's where I want it. Okay. And this one has a huge stretch in it, look at that. All right, so we're gonna use that. Is this Antoine Vaillant's favorite? This is Antoine Vaillant's favorite uh, chest, one of his favorite chest machines, yeah. Okay, go ahead and sit down. This grip we had is also good, but we'll do neutral on this one. And they're really kind of like, Oh. Yeah, get that huge stretch. Yeah. So and I'm gonna sit in on the captain's oh. chair. There we go. <sighs> go to failure. Probably get about 12. What is that, five? Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Maybe more than 12. Jesus, nine. 22. 23. <sighs> Just cut there. Yeah, you can go up a little bit. You can the plate. How do you feel that? Uh, yeah, it's right, right in the chest. <laughs> uh, I, I like this one the most, I think, because... Which one? 
Well, this one just right now, like this movement specifically, because the big stretch in the back. Yep. So that's what I'm feeling a lot, like really big range of motion and stretch in the chest. So I like that. Then we're gonna use that in a second. So on the second set, what we're gonna do is something like, it's popular from dog crap training, okay. where they do like, like a really hard set and at the end they just hold it, hold it okay now it's good with dumbbells because that, that's hard as hell you know yeah. that's good um, we're just doing a machine here so we're going to really get that stretch and just hold it right when we got a failure just like ah, 30 seconds you know yeah if you guys uh want to watch another training session with juji and i and antoine actually from tennessee we did a few months back uh when we were doing cable flies antoine had us doing the same thing like holding that stretch huh. and oh my gosh you're going to feel like your muscle fibers just splitting, uh, so pretty cool, but check that video out. Link yeah, above. that was good. Here it is, come on, come on. Okay. Nice, good job. All right. trap forever. It's a high about time chamber. Yeah. This room is really weird like that since we haven't decorated it. It's all just a bunch of white. That's what it feels like. Stuff. It's yeah. like it quiet, like it's shielded. It's really well insulated so you can't hear anything outside. It's like when you die, you, yeah. you go to heaven, you just come here, which which kind of maybe is heaven. This is, where am I? Is this Iron Paradise? Oh. Whoa. Me versus did. the rock. <laughs> I mean, my own gym is better than his. Now he's got some cool windows on top though. I'll give him that. I was just talking to Joey and he doesn't have a Smith machine in his gym. So if you don't have a Smith machine as well, you can do a reverse banded bench press, you know? So it's like, it's got like, there's some tracking involved. In it, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's taking a lot of the stabilization out, especially if you did your workout, you're kind of screwed anyway. Yeah. So then you can kind of like. Yeah, keep it kind of similar. Mm -hmm. You can even do things like get a neutral grip bar, like a Swiss press okay. or something. Just really try to. Yeah. You're going to be locked in this range. You won't be able to like make it arc but you're doing what you can with what you have. Yeah, for sure. Still, for sure. you know, it's about doing what you can with what you have always, and always looking to see if you can get more out of what you mm -hmm. got, but also getting more in general. But yeah, you know, this is the best way, in my opinion, of yeah. of doing this to get this. We also have to remember too, you didn't have all of this stuff your whole life. So it's like, no. you know, the ways to work around it, you know, and as you evolve up, then it becomes yeah. a little bit more easier with your tools and stuff. Sure, but, exactly. Yeah. Muscle fibers, right here. Get you covered. Is there uh, gonna be a Judy's nip slip? Oh, it's alright. It's been happening. Let's see the pores. Ah! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you got more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, just started recording. At least 10 more. Oh, no, I mean, that's what went through my brain, dude. Ah, ah, what you made of? Let's go. Stretch it, stretch it. Stretch it and flex it. Let's get it. Oh, oh, look at that hold. Wow. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta see it from the side. I think it's, yeah, it's been accomplished. Mm -hmm. Wow, they feel oh, pumped. Oh, wait, I, I guess I gotta get It's hard, I almost can't even flex them. <laughs> I mean, mine are numb at this point. That's so what I feel like, I, like I can't really do yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, you guys are looking at yourselves. And touching, touching. Looking. Touching ourselves wow. around each other. Man, that was awesome. Good, I'm glad you liked it. It's very different, like I said, we we're isolating the chest a ton. Uh, I like this style better when it comes to chest hypertrophy and aesthetics. 
uh, kind of just retraining my mind how I look at chest training versus what I was doing in the past. He gave a lot of awesome tips. Obviously, his chest has come a very long way. Yeah, I had a bird chest, dude. Really? I it was like sternum. Huh. Sternum. I didn't start doing any upper body work until I was like in my early 20s. So okay. I was late to even de yeah. start developing it. Then when I started, it wasn't working. Okay. It wasn't until I started like following John Meadows and yeah, yeah, talking yeah. to Antoine more and trying out some of this stuff and getting away from the, yeah. the idea that it had to be compound all the time or didn't matter. Okay. I'm um, excited just because I'm a very similar story where I really haven't ever had a goal to train chest and I was always focused on strength. And aesthetically, I actually like training other things like my back and my legs and stuff. So the chest is something I haven't really built interest in until now. It's really crucial for me to get my physique to the next level. So I think when we kind of watch where this journey progresses from now until a year from now, I think we're going to see some really good gains implementing a lot of these tips and tricks. And Juji, obviously, they should be subscribed to you. Yeah. But where can they get your stuff? You can go to jujibufu.com. I do have programs that don't have a chest program or pressing program. But you should make them. <laughs> <laughs> should probably write that one, yeah. But there's more time to do that. But thank you so much. And Joey's weak points in bodybuilding, I think, are very few. Uh, he's going to work on his conditioning, which means he's going to just lower his body fat levels. And other than that, you're very well proportioned. You got a lot of muscle in areas that's hard to put muscle on. He's got gigantic hamstrings, legs, back, everything. So I think if you just put a little bit of yeah, you know, nice. tender right. love and care into the chest, yeah. I mean, you don't have you don't have really that much to worry about, man. You're, it's going to be good, though. Yeah, it's going to be good. Fun. So we'll uh, we'll check in in the future with how this is going, but guys. But stay a lean, mean strike machine. Subscribe to Juji. Watch all the videos. We appreciate you guys. Keep it going. Peace. I never do this sign. This is new to me. Peace. <laughs> he don't know what it means.